Hey guys, welcome back to Okichita. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, throwing the Tomahawk and the Gunstock War Club. Uh, this is just a homemade target that I made. I'll show you a little bit about the construction if you want to make one at home yourself. Um, they're fairly inexpensive, but they're easy to replace the boards. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll get into that shortly. But I just kind of want to talk a little bit about the, the Gunstock War Club versus the Tomahawk when it comes to throwing the weapon. So, when we're throwing a Tomahawk versus a Gunstock, the Tomahawk has a lot more give in the sense that there's a lot more area that you can use to cover and the Tomahawk can still land. Whereas a gunstock, you have very limited space. So, for example, with a tomahawk, if it hits anywhere from here down to here, so about 45 degrees, right? At least easy 45 degrees that you can get into it, and maybe even a little bit more, right? And you also have the spike on the back. So that's a lot of a lot of wiggle room to kind of land, and it still stick. The Gunstock War Club, on the other hand, for it to stick in the target, you literally only have a very small window where it'll either hit the top or it'll hit the butt, right? So it's a lot more difficult to land your throws with a Gunstock War Club because of that reason. So keep that in mind. When you're throwing these weapons, it's really important that you pay attention to, if you are missing, what's hitting. Because what hits the target first will let you know if you need to come back or like step back a step or go forward a step. So for example, if I'm throwing and it's coming around and it's hitting this way and it's hitting on the very top and hitting the target like that, that means I need to actually get a little closer, right? If I'm throwing it and it's coming around and hitting butt end, that means I need to back up a bit, right? So when you're throwing it, the idea is to always try and have the same type of throw. Make your throw very consistent, okay? Don't change your throw up. You want to keep throwing as, as consistent as possible. It's similar to other things like darts you always want to have a consistent throw and then you just adjust your your distance and your aim and, and speed right but the throw is always got to be the same type of throw every time now everybody throws a little different so you're gonna to have to judge your distance based on that but just be consistent always it's really important okay get used to throwing it the exact same way every time all right, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to step back here a little bit in a second, and I'm going to just show you a little bit of how you would throw it, how you would hold it when you're throwing it, and things like that. So when throwing the Gunstock War Club, what you actually want to do is have one hand over the other. So I'll come a little closer. One hand over the other, okay? I like to have my thumbs on the back of the spine. And then all you're going to do is you're gonna pull back above your head, okay? And it's just literally a step and a throw. Now, when you're throwing the gun stock, when you're coming back over your head and you're stepping, you don't wanna flick your wrists. You wanna just open your hands up and let it come out of your hands, okay? So the whole idea behind it is you release and it just allows the weapon to do what it needs to do, okay? like that okay so you're just gonna release and let the weapon do what it does okay Okay, so now with the tomahawk, the one thing you really want to do with this is when you're making your throw, you want to make sure your arm's coming straight up and down, right? So when you're 
when you're throwing straight up and down not across your body like a baseball straight up and down obviously it's going to help your tomahawk rotate properly and into the target now like i said you have a little bit more give with this so just kind of space yourself out and the same thing if it's hitting too far this way right it's hitting too far forward then you need to move closer if it's hitting the back here you need to move further right so i'll start here and i'll just give it a throw okay so i'm about the right distance but any further and I wouldn't be making it, I'd have to move up. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you're, when you're practicing with throwing weapons. You have to pay attention. Now obviously, if it's hitting here, it's because it hasn't had enough time to rotate. Right, so if it's hitting the butt, the butt end, you need to allow it to have more time to rotate. And by doing that, you just step backwards, which will allow that extra room for it to come around. Right. If it's hitting too far forward, you need to make sure that it doesn't rotate as far so you step forward. And that's it. Right. So just practice. Make sure you're allowing your distance and keep throwing the same way, okay? Again, the design, simple structure, right? Just make a nice frame. And then what I do is I have these little cuts on the inside that marry up to the ones on the outside so it can literally just be hung and you walk away, All right? So take your time, practice, but get used to that. Consistent throwing, watch how it's landing and adjust your space, okay? Miigwech, wow.